So, hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna read this Horrid Henry book. If you can see it, it's called Horrid Henry. It's the original Horrid Henry book. It doesn't have any other name, it just says Horrid Henry on the side. You can't see it, but yeah, it says only Horrid Henry. So, not like Horrid Henry's Revenge or anything like that. It's just Horrid Henry. We're gonna read the first chapter of this book, and I hope you enjoy. Horrid Henry. Chapter 1. Horrid Henry's perfect day. Henry was horrid. Everyone said so. Even his mother. Henry threw food. Henry snatched. Henry pushed and, and shoved and pinched. Even his teddy Mr. Kill avoided him when possible. His parents despaired. What are we going to do about that horrid boy? sighed Mum. How did two people as nice as us have such a horrid child? sighed Dad. When horrid Henry's parents took Henry to school, they walked behind him and pretended he was not theirs. Chil children po pointed at Henry and whispered to their parents, That's horrid Henry! Or oh, that's horrid Henry! He's the boy who threw my jacket in, jacket in the mud. He's the boy who squashed Billy's beetle. He's the boy who dot dot dot. Fill in whatever terrible deed you like. Horrid Henry was sure to have done it. Horrid Henry had a younger brother. His name was Perfect Peter. Perfect Peter always said please and thank you. Perfect Peter loved vegetables. Perfect Peter always used a hanky and never ever picked his nose. Why can't you be perfect like Peter? said Henry's mum every day. It's really hard, but I can't do anything about it, to be honest. Next page. Oh, that, that, that looks like uh, the weirdest picture ever. Mm. You, 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 you see it in your head. You will imagine it to one of your readers. I don't have you. I don't have to show you the pictures. As usual, Henry pretended not to, not to hear. He, he continued melting Peter's crayons on the radiator. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, that's the picture. But Horrid Henry started to think. What if I were perfect? Thought Henry. I wonder what that. What would happen? When Henry woke up the next morning, he did not wake up Peter by pouring water on Peter's head. Peter did not scream. This meant Henry's parents overslept and Henry and Peter were late for cubs. Henry was very happy. Peter was very sad to be late for cubs. But because he was perfect, Peter did not whine or complain. That is right. If you're perfect, you don't whine or complain. I don't know how it works, but for, when, when, when Horrid Henry tricks Perfect PD, he goes whining and complaining to his mum, so I don't think he's perfect. <laughs> okay, next page. On the way to Cubs, Henry did not scrabble with Peter over who sat in the front. He did not pinch Peter and he did not shove Peter back at, back, back home. When Perfect Peter built a castle, Henry did not knock it down. Instead, Henry sat on the sofa and read a book. Mum and Dad ran into the room. It's awfully quiet in here, said Mum. Are you being horrid, Henry? No, said Henry. Peter... Is Henry knocking your castle down? Peter longed to say yes, but that would be a lie. No, said Peter. His face looks really angry in this picture. He wondered why Henry was behaving so strangely. What are you doing, Henry, said Dad, reading a wonderful story about some super nice. Uh, after a bat. A story about some super mice, not super nice. Okay. Super mice, yes, that's, that's where we are, said Henry. Dad had never seen Henry read a book before. He checked to see if a comic was hidden inside. There was no comic. Henry was actually reading a book. Hmm, said Dad. It was almost time for dinner. Henry was hungry and went into the kitchen where Dad was cooking. But instead of shouting, I'm starving! Where's my food? Henry said, Dad, you look tired. Can I help you super ready? 
supper ready to get supper ready to super ready. I don't usually say supper, I say dinner. Don't be horrid, Henry, said Dad, pouring peas into the into boiling water. Then he stopped. What did you say, Henry? asked Dad. Can I help that, that Dad? said Perfect Peter. I asked if he needed any help, said Henry. I asked first, said Peter. Henry will just make a mess, said Dad. Peter, would you would you peel the carrots while I sit down for a moment? For a moment, hey? We'll just sit down for hours. I think he's lazy. Of course, said Perfect Peter. Peter washed his spotless hands. P Peter put on his spotless apron. Peter rolled up his spotless sleeves. Peter waited for Henry to snatch the peeler. Well, he said spotless. So why isn't spotless Sam doing this? Perfect Peter. Well, he is perfect and spotless is perfect. But still, where's spotless Sam? I I'm just going to stop talking. No. I'm, I'm just going to stop talking. I'm just going to read the book for you guys. But Henry laid the table instead. Mum came into the kitchen. Smells good, she said. Thank you, darling Peter, for laying out the table. What a good boy you are. Peter did not say anything. I laid the table, Mum, said Henry. Mum stared at him. You, said Mum. Me, said Henry. Why, said Mum. Henry smiled. To be helpful, he said. You've done something horrid, haven't you, Henry, said Dad. No, said Henry. He tried to look sweet. I'll lay the table tomorrow, said Perfect Peter. Thank you, Angel, said Mum. They're not even calling Henry an angel. But he set the table up. What is this? I think... Oh, yeah, I see the picture. You're, 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 you're going to see it in your imagine, imaginations. Dinner is ready, said Dad. The family sat down at the table. Dinner was spaghetti and meatballs with peas and carrots. Henry ate his dinner with his knife and fork and spoon. Why do you need spoon for spaghetti? Oh, because there's peas. He did not throw peas at Peter and he did not slurp. He did not chew with his mouth open and he did not slouch. What slouch? Sit properly, Henry, said Dad. I am sitting properly, said Henry. Dad looked up from his plate. He looked surprised. So you are, he said. Perfect Peter could not eat. Why ha wasn't Henry throwing peas at him? Peter's hand reached slowly for a pea. Oh, no, you know what he's going to do. When no one was looking, he flicked a pea at, uh, the, the pea at Henry. Ouch, said Henry. Don't be horrid, Henry, said Mum. Henry reached for a fistful of peas. Then Henry remembered he was being perfect and stopped. Peter smiled and waited. But no, peas bobbed him on the head. Perfect Peter did not understand where was the foot that always kicked him under the table. It is Henry's foot, which I'm warning you about. He's going to kick you. Slowly, Peter stretched out his foot and kicked Henry. Ouch! said Henry. Don't be horrid, Henry, said Dan. But I... Dot, 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 said Henry. Then stopped. Henry's foot wanted to kick Perfect Peter round the block. Then Henry remembered <coughs> he was being perfect and continued to eat. You're very quiet tonight, Henry, said Dan. You the better to enjoy my lovely dinner, said Henry. Henry, where are your peas and carrots? asked Mum. I ate them, said Henry. They were delicious. Mum looked on the floor. She looked under Henry's chair. She looked under his plate. You ate your peas and carrots, said Mum slowly. Uh, I said that fastly. She felt Henry, Henry's forehead. Are you feeling all right, Henry? Yeah, said Horrid Henry. I'm fine, thank you for asking, he added quickly. Sound. Oh no. I see the picture. I see the picture. Mum and Dad looked at each other. What was going on? And then they looked at Henry. Henry, come here and let me give you a big kiss. Ew. Said. Yeah. Said Mum. You are a wonderful boy. Would you like a piece of fudge cake? Peter interrupted. No cake for me. 
thank you, said Peter. I would rather have more vegetables. Well, he just interrupted, and that's not kind. Ooh. Henry let himself be kissed. Oh, my, it was hard working, work being perfect. He smiled sweetly at Peter. I would love some cake, thank you, said Henry. Perfect Peter could not stand it no longer. He picked up his plate and aimed at Henry. Then Peter threw the spaghetti. Henry ducked. Splat! Spaghetti landed on Mum's head. Tomato sauce tickled down her neck, down her fat new yellow fuzzy jumper. Oh no. He's going to get grounded, I think. That's just a prediction. Pizza! yelled Mum and Dad. You horrid boy! yelled Mum. Go to your room! yelled Dad. Perfect Pizza burst into tears and ran into his room. Mum wiped spaghetti off her face. She looked very funny. Henry tried not to laugh. He squeezed his lips together tightly, but it was no use. I am sorry to say that he could not stop a laugh escaping. It's not funny! shouted that go to your room shouted mum but henry didn't care who would have thought being perfect would be much such fun i think that i think that was the end yes uh chapter two horror henry's dance class that's gonna be in another video okay okay so bye guys see you in the next video Oh, 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 oh,